Hi, I'm Tanil from Dog Matters and these are my top six tips for a loose lead walk. The first tip is to use the right equipment. There are so many different dog training and walking tools on the market today, it's hard to know which ones to choose to get a loose lead walk from your dog. They're all marketed to say that they stop pulling instantly, but do they really work? Well, there's some that do make a difference uh, fairly quickly, but it's a quick fix, it's a band-aid, and if you still let your dog pull, they can learn to pull harder and harder. So let's first have a look at the equipment that I don't recommend, and then we'll have a look at what I do recommend to get a loose lead walk with your dog. The first tool that I don't recommend that you use is a flexi leash. The reason being is that when a dog pulls on this, they get further and further away or further ahead from you. And so what's actually happening is the dog's getting rewarded for pulling because whenever it pulls, it gets further along to where it wants to go. So it works for the dog, they'll keep pulling and then when you put a normal lead on, they're gonna pull really badly. The other reason I don't like these is it's very flimsy. They've been known to snap, fall apart, always at the worst possible moments. And this thin uh, bit of leash here has been known to even cause rope burns and cuts on people's ankles or on their dogs. The second piece of equipment that I don't recommend you use to get a loose lead walk is your standard harness. This attaches at the back and the dog can lean into this and pull. There's a reason that they use harnesses on sled dogs. It's because they want them to pull hard so that they can pull a heavy sled. So if you want your dog to walk on a loose lead and you're having trouble with it, this isn't the way to go. Now let's talk about the equipment that I do recommend to get a nice loose lead walk from your dog. First piece of equipment that I recommend is a training collar. So the training collar that I use and recommend is called a martingale collar, also known as a half check collar. It's a piece of nylon that bit goes around the dog's neck and then it's got this bit of chain at the top here so it can still tighten and loosen but it can't keep going um, for a choking action. We do want to keep the lead loose though the whole time and just have a quick tightening action when we need it. The next piece of equipment that I use and recommend is a standard lead. You want something strong, good quality and something that feels good and strong and comfortable in your hand so that you're confident when you're walking, walking your dog, you know you can hold them, um, you know they can't get away, you know you've got equipment that you can depend on. My second top tip for a loose lead walk is to keep the lead loose. Now I know what you're thinking, that's easier said than done. What do I do if my dog's pulling straight away and it's tight all of the time? First thing you've got to remember when you're trying to get a loose lead walk with your dog is to never follow your dog when the lead is tight. So if your dog makes the lead tight straight away, you're going to either stop or change direction. Every time you follow your dog with a tight leash, the dog's getting to move forward. And if they even get to move an inch forward with a tight leash, they're gonna think, this is how I get where I want to go. I pull us. Good thing I'm pulling or we wouldn't be moving this fast and I wouldn't be getting anywhere. So the first thing we need to show them is that's not how it works. We will get where we're going if the lead is loose, but if the lead's tight, we're not going anywhere, especially the direction that you want to go. My third tip for a loose lead walk is to reward focus from your dog. And when I say focus, I mean looking up and making eye contact with you, looking at your face. And when I say reward, it just means give the dog something that they like, whether that's just praise using your voice, saying good dog, or a pat, or a treat but reward them for looking at you. The reason that this is a good idea is that a dog can't be pulling out ahead of you and looking up at you nicely at the same time. So by rewarding focus, we're automatically rewarding a loose lead and that's what we want. My fourth tip for a loose lead walk is to change direction. So every time your dog is about to pull ahead of you, stop, walk off the other way, Look where you're going, that's really important. Don't turn looking at the dog as you go, worried about whether they're following you. They're on a lead, they have to follow you. So just turn on a dime, walk off the other way, and pick a spot to look at the distance so you know exactly where you're going. Really walk with confidence and change direction every time they're about to pull so that they feel like every time they go to pull, you're gonna go the opposite way. You wanna try and catch this just before they make the lead tight, tight ideally, if you can. Once your dog's got the hang of changing direction, you can adjust this and instead of changing direction every single time, you can just stop, let the dog hit the end of the lead, get them back next to you and show them we're only gonna go forward in one direction if you've got a loose lead. My fifth tip for a loose lead walk is body language. 
have calmness, confidence, and really importantly, relax your arms. If you're tensing up and tightening on the lead, that tension will go straight down the lead and when a dog feels tension on their neck, their impulse is to fight it. We don't wanna teach a dog to walk on a loose lead by physically shortening the lead and physically holding them there next to us, forcing them to walk next to us. If we're doing that, we're setting ourselves up for a struggle for the entire walk and no one's going to enjoy it. Hold your leash in a loose, relaxed way and instead of trying to force your dog to stay there, work on teaching them to want to walk next to you. My sixth and final tip for a loose lead walk is to be calm and confident. And we touched on this before, but if you're stressed, anxious, or worried, your dog's gonna pick up on that and it's gonna go straight down the lead and they're going to get stressed as well. And a stressed dog is not gonna be able to focus on you. They're going to pull and really importantly, they're going to be more likely to react to other dogs and do things such as leash aggression, which we definitely don't wanna create. So whenever you're training, be calm, be confident, have a purpose while you're walking, really walk with that confidence and be sure about your movements. Even if you're not 100% sure on the inside, make sure you're showing that confidence on the outside because your dog really will pick up on that. Remember, calm and confident owners make calm and confident dogs. I hope you've enjoyed my six tips for a loose lead walk and that they help you out.